fuck is with this mess, George? And why is your suitcase out? We just have a problem. So I was in the mall one day and I said, Dad, these are the great on those beautiful ears. But I told myself, I'll hold it on to her and say something nice. Or maybe it does something nice. You know how long ago that was? Six months ago. Hey, look, I'm sorry. I just, you know, the job and... It's not easy. Yeah, Eric, listen. Listen, either, there's two things. Either you find another job, or you just get a different guy. I mean, I, I know there's a lot of guys out there that they do nothing and get nothing in return, and they're happy. But me, I'm, I'm sure she's not one of those guys. I can't leave my job, George. What, what do you mean you can't leave your job? Just say I quit. People do it every day. And how can you ask me to do that? You know what this job's mean to me? I mean, for the first time in my life, I have people respecting me. Up in Hickley, I walk into a room, and everybody shuts up to hear if I have something to say. And I've never had that before, ever. Please, don't. Yeah, and, and what about the kids? Huh? Look, I'm doing more for my kids now than I did living with my parents, and someday they'll understand that. And what about me? What about you? You think either of the men who gave me those children asked me what I wanted before they walked away? They didn't, okay? All I've ever done was spend my life around what men decide they need. Well, not now, I'm sorry. I won't do it. Yeah, but okay? listen, I I'm not one of those guys. Tell me what I need to do to prove that to you. Stay, we can work it out, okay? Stay for what? Huh? You don't need me. You could pay a daycare. You got a raise. You don't need me. <laughs> 